Welcome to Stellar Pachyderm's Let's Play Star Drive 2. I have just had an amazing idea and I've got to get this down before I forget. I'm still working on my last Let's Play, so I'm going to finish up that one before I actually get very far in this one. But I did want to get this idea on paper, on video, and fleshed out while I was thinking about it. So I'm going to be the literally greenest race in the game. This playthrough, I'm going to be playing it on Brutal. My goal is to win through Conquest, and I'm going to be taking only solar armor. My ships cannot be powered with anything else besides solar power once I unlock solar armor. And on top of that, I'm going to take, I'm, once I get solar armor, I'm going to use nothing but energy weapons. So, got to create my race. We're going to start as a polyp type race. We are going to create... A new race, literally green. I'm gonna customize it. Of course, we're gonna be a green race where ships rely on, fo on um, solar power, so we gotta have photosynthesis as a racial trait. And we're not gonna be very good at spying, but we're gonna be literally tree huggers. Our ground HP is gonna be terrible. We are going to be slow at breeding. We need two more negative picks so I can get what I want. Um, <laughs> let's think here for a second. <laughs> well... We could do repulsive. And we're going to be very good at farming. We are a green race, literally green. Uh, Holy Land or Rich Homeworld? We'll go with Rich Homeworld. Holy Land would be really good too, but we'll go with Rich Homeworld. Alright, we are literally green. Gotta make sure this is on Brutal. And off we go. Ah, the joys of a fresh new game with a fresh new idea. Let's go ahead and explore down here with our scout. Got to do our standard start. Do two freighter fleets, trade goods. Uh, wow, <laughs> I only need one farmer. <laughs> oh, that is hilariously amazing. Wow. Wow, that's okay. That's okay. I'm so enamored right now. Um, we're gonna unlock our standard text first. At least the first two before you get solar armor. Large Tundra, poor normal G, that'd be a good place to go. This would also be a really good place to go. I absolutely love asteroid belts. They are probably my favorite uh, world to colonize. Bar none. Other than Gaia's. I, I like Gaia's too. Six degrees taken to the stars. Yes, yes I have. Guess who's not getting the stars? Everyone else! Because no one else is green. Must keep all the polluters at bay. And by at bay, I mean stuck on planets and in the, well, prior to Bronze Age. Everyone must be agriculture! Agriculture only, except for me, because I'm literally green. Don't explore there. There's some enemy crystals. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and explore this system down here that we just opened. We need to adjust our food production.
There's our automated rover bay done researching. Uh, large tundra, abundant. Another ultra rich asteroid that is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Aeroponic farms. Well, time to run away, folks. <laughs> hmm. Pirate fleet. They're not too friendly. Oh, environmental leader, yes! <laughs> what better way to be green? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my goodness. Remember folks, for the trees! Oh, this is great. Alright, Opturus is out there. Solar armor, here we go. As soon as I get solar armor, we can actually go ahead and uh, tweak our ships around and start using our intended design goals. Uh, medium toxic, absolutely garbage planet. We don't want to go there anytime soon. All right. Go ahead and get that produced. We need to come here and we'll go ahead and put on oh, there. There we go. We'll just let this auto complete. It's close enough that I'll just let it go. It's not that big a deal. All right, shipyard, here we come. So, the first step, we need to go ahead and put on our bridge. And remember, absolutely no power plants. All of our power is coming from the sun. And all of our weapons are going to consume nothing but power. Actually, let's do it like that. And we're going to need power storage. Alright, so currently, if we look at our ship design requirements, we are well within budget, so we can actually go ahead and have some fun now. Well within budget. Oops. Hold down control and click to select a part if you've not selected on any part currently. To clone.
Okay, now can we replace the large panels back here? We can. So 125 range and decent damage output. Or sorry, three fifty twelve range and decent damage from one twenty five. Uh one twenty five, three twelve point eight one point one nine. So these actually have a better refire rate, but these have more damage per square. Uh power is five, power is five. <laughs> So I think we have our basic design right here. <coughs> I think we have it. Go on to face front and hold position. We are going to be the the green green power nah let's call this the uh, solar cruiser now we have lots a fairly a fairly high amount of excess power production uh, 21 over but we have a massive power storage and the reason why I want that massive power storage I'm actually thinking about um, possibly making this more efficient with less PD on the sides or the front um, and putting more power generation up here so I can take power generation, these power generation and turn them into solar capacitor or power capacitors because as we take damage we're going to lose these panels and we're going to produce less power so we're going to need capacitor storage to uh, fill in the holes um, I should probably be more efficient to put them out here. And then... There we go. The Solar Cruiser. We could make this heavier and replace and make everything ablative reactive. But I think I think this will be good right here. Go ahead and make a frigate. And put on some weapons. I don't know if I'll actually build any of these. I usually don't build frigates. Um, I might. We'll see. Let's see if our power numbers match up what we want. We have plenty of excess power generation. We got plenty of storage. So yeah, this design would work right here. Solar Patrol. Patroller? Solar Patroller. Actually, one L, two Ls. Huh. Not sure. Um, we 
We're green, we're bright, we're friendly. We'll just go with the stock paint job. On both of these. Okay. Still set to stock. Alright. Alright, we need to set the roster, and we need to... being green is? That's right. Having enough green. There we go. Now, folks, now we can officially say we are green. Oh, yeah. So we'll build, uh... That'll be our first fleet, I think. Alright, and I think with that, we'll call this an episode. This will be the first episode. Um, I'm going to be doing this entire playthrough after I finish my current one, but I will be throwing this one up on site early. If you are excited for this one, please let me know in the comments. It'll probably be a while before I get to doing this campaign, so expect... I would say don't expect to see the rest of this campaign for about a week. Um, it depends on how schoolwork goes, so... Take care till next time. I hope you guys are excited to, for this campaign as I am, or as excited for this campaign as I am. See you around.